What's up? It's Coach J Pro back for another round of reflex bag workouts. Let's go! Today it is core and combos round three. We're gonna work some combinations on our bag. We're gonna integrate a little core and ab training. And as always, we're gonna get a great workout in just 20 minutes. So you don't need your gloves on yet. Just make sure you have your sneakers laced up, your space is cleared out. We're gonna jump into a little stretch in 10 seconds. You look good in the summer. I'm dressed in all black today because we're gonna kill this workout. You know what time it is. And don't forget, I need your support. If you enjoy getting free reflex bag workouts every week, please throw your boy a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I wanna be able to do this forever, but I need to grow this brand and I need your help. Shout out to everyone who continues to comment, especially a uh, special shout out to Steven, a newcomer who's uh, been jumping in, catching up on all the old workouts and commenting. I appreciate the support. Welcome to the squad, Steven. Let's get right into it with arm circles going backwards. Nice wide arm circles at a nice controlled pace. Let's reverse direction here. Going forward now. Okay, shake it out. We're gonna go into a little tricep stretch. So with my left arm is gonna go straight up. I'm gonna reach as far back as I can and then use my right arm to pull my elbow back, feeling that stretch in the shoulder and in the tricep. Switch arms. Okay, shake it out. Little torso twist here. Pivoting on the balls of my feet. Nice controlled pace to get the body going, to get us warmed up, to start throwing these hands. Hope everyone is feeling good about their progress with the reflex bag and all my experience, 10 years experience of boxing training. We're gonna go into a little boxer bounce for 30 seconds. And all my experience boxing training, I've never felt something that's so satisfying to feel myself developing week in and week out. Slowly but surely, my timing, my accuracy, my hand speed, all while getting fitter and feeling better about how I look. So I hope that you're having that same experience. If you ever get stuck, DM me on Instagram, shoot me a comment, I'm here to help. Last minute of the round, a little freestyle shadow boxing. Let's keep those punches nice and long, throwing anywhere from one, to four punches at a time. And remember, when I'm moving, the direction that I'm going is the foot that moves first. Going right, it's that right foot. Going left, it's that left foot. The weight is nice and light on the balls of my feet. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You just wanna know the basic moves. You're gonna line up in your boxing stance with your dominant hand and foot in the back. For me, I'm a righty. My right leg is gonna be just out in front. We've got the one, that's the lead straight. The two is the rear straight. Three is the lead hook. Four is the rear hook. Five is the lead uppercut. Six is the rear uppercut. We always wanna focus on balance. It's better to throw balance combinations than to try to kill it every time with power. And time. Grab a quick sip of water. Let's throw those gloves on. We're gonna get into round one in one minute. Okay, while we're waiting for round one, I wanna do a quick refresher of some of the different defensive moves that we do doing these workouts. It's obviously one thing that we love about the reflex bag is it opens up all of this opportunity to work defense and have a complete training experience. Even if you're training for fitness or for wellness, it's still satisfying to develop and train with real boxing technique. The heavy bag is misleading. Makes anyone can stand in front of a heavy bag and feel powerful. When you get and develop skill with a reflex bag, you're getting a more realistic experience. So 
A lot of different defensive moves. The ones that we use the most on this channel, we'll start there, are the slips. So with a slip, you're just taking your head off the center line. You can slip lead towards your lead leg, the lead that's in front, or slip rear towards your rear leg, or you can roll rear, which is more of a U motion, yeah. or roll lead that's towards your front leg. So let's get in front of our bag. We're gonna open up with a flow yeah. one, two for 30 seconds. If you're using a fierce flex, this is the pace that we want, light and continuous. If you have a slower bag, you can do full extension. The idea is that I'm not moving my feet, I'm just working my balance and I'm conditioning my shoulders and practicing my timing a little bit here. Okay, 30 seconds, we're gonna move around the bag and just work that three, our lead hook. If you wanna double up on it, you can. Stay balanced if you miss. If I miss, I just stay balanced. I don't wanna do that, then I'm putting too much on it. Five seconds here. Just working the three. Okay, now we're gonna switch over and just work that four for 30 seconds. You know, as we progress and we keep going here with these weekly workouts, I'm gonna start bringing in more challenging combos. Throwing hooks, the timing is tough. If you ever wanna go back and do some of the more beginner workouts, there's nothing wrong with drilling the basics to develop the timing. All right, 30 seconds. We're gonna do a one, two, three, four combo. If you want, you can move in between or stand stationary. Take your time. This is a tricky one on the reflex bag. One, two, three, four. All right, we're ripping the Band-Aid off. We're going right into a high plank for one minute. My arms are directly underneath my shoulders. I'm squeezing my abs and holding myself in a high plank. If you need to modify and you wanna drop down on the forearms, you can. You wanna to try to do your best to get through the three minutes and only rest in between. Easier said than done. 30 seconds here. Don't forget to breathe. 20 seconds. I'm right there with you, I know. Think about something fun you're gonna do this weekend. Think about a delicious meal you're gonna eat. 10 seconds. Woo. In time. That's round one, grab a quick sip of water. We jump into round two in one minute. All right, how are we feeling after that high plank? And remember, it's okay to, it's okay to pace yourself. Boxing training alone is one of the most demanding forms of cardio and full body workout there is. When you start mixing in the different strength training, core training, it gets tough. So just pace yourself and manage your energy. One of the biggest mistakes I see with people who are green, who are using the reflex bag for the first time, they're trying to kill it every time. That's not really what this is for. You wanna be nice and light on your feet, nice snappy punches, manage your energy, practice your timing and your rhythm, and you really get into the flow of it all. We're gonna do a similar format going into round two. We're gonna go back to that one, two, three, four, but we're gonna do it build up style. And then the last minute, we're gonna work some core and some ab training. I know, I know, you're gonna hate me now, but you'll thank me later. Let's open up, working a nice sharp one, two, at a combination pace. So not continuous, nice and snappy. I'm turning my punches over. Ish. 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 
Ish. Now, we're gonna work a one, two, three. When it comes to form, the most important thing to me and with this channel, Boxing for Wellness, is that you're moving with what feels right to your body. I have a lot of people online who have never been in a boxing ring before tell me that I drop my hands too much. A lot of couch critics out there. I fight with a low guard. Now we're gonna add that four. One, two, three, four. But when we're training for fitness, for wellness, the most important thing is that you're enjoying the experience and developing your timing, your rhythm, all these other areas. So I've always found, especially using the reflex bag, it helps me stay loose when I relax a little bit. All right, we're gonna add a roll rear two. So the combo is gonna be a one, two, three, four, roll rear two. Take your time. It's really challenging the timing here. Slow it down if you need to work that timing. One more. All right, let's drop down. We're gonna get right into crunches for 30 seconds. We're gonna put those legs up, relax the neck, and just use the core, my abs, to lift up my upper body. I'm not pulling on my neck. My neck and my hands are totally relaxed. I'm just squeezing my core to lift up my upper body. Oh yeah, we feel it now. Okay, gloves underneath the butt, toes point away. We're gonna go to leg raises for 30 seconds here. Nice explosive on the way up, controlled on the way down. I can't see the timer. All right, five seconds, four, Three, two, and time. Nice work, that's it. We're already halfway. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. A tighter core is better, more enjoyable boxing. Quick sip of water, we jump in around three in one minute. Let's go. All right, we're going into the championship rounds and don't think I forgot about the challenge from last week. I asked, all you hard workers, if you enjoy training speed or power, got some really creative answers. I like to see some folks talking about, oh, well, I like to work speed at the beginning of the rounds, power at the end. Some people were both team power and team speed, but ultimately team speed came out ahead. So while we're nice and warm, while we've got the core activated, the entire second half of this workout is gonna be dedicated to speed. Everything you throw, you throw it fast. If you get tired, just take the volume down, do a little footwork, but everything we throw, we throw fast. Now, I've got an advanced reflex bag training coming out soon where I talk a little bit more about hand speed, but a little heads up, there's no real shortcut. There's some things you can do to help. Ultimately, it's about building muscle memory and a nice relaxed upper body. So, we're gonna open up with a little speed freestyle for 30 seconds. Everything fast. Connect with your bag. Ah, ah, ah. Then right back ah, ah. to the chin. It helps if you breathe like a maniac, ah, like myself. Okay, we're gonna work a combination. Speed is the focus. One, two, one, two. Ish, 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 ish. Watch out for that bag, it hits back. Ten seconds here. One more. All right, back down to the high plank. This time it's just for 30 seconds. Think of this as an active recovery.
Core nice and tight. Squeeze those abs. 15 seconds. And up, back to the speed freestyle. Anything you want, but fast. Keep going, 10 seconds here. Okay, last minute. We're in a boxer bounce and we're gonna do some call outs. Everything speed. Even if you're team power, we're working speed. Hit a one. One, two. Keep bouncing, balls of your feet. Two. Six. Two. Six, two. Last 30 seconds, all out attack. Speed, let's go. Fifteen seconds, finish that bag. Breathe like a maniac. Let's go. And time. Going into the championship round, let's go. Finish strong, as always, this is also the time where I like to check in and see who's really with me. I appreciate everyone who pops into this channel and does a, does a round or two, but I really like to see who's in the deep water making it through all four rounds. And this was a tough one, this was a core killer workout. So comment core killer if you made it through. Don't do it yet you got to survive this last round which is definitely the hardest round and then i got a special surprise for everyone next week with a brand new format but first we got to finish the core killer comment core killer if you made it through all four rounds and then get hyped because next week we got a new format we got some fun stuff on the way now we're going to start on the ground we're gonna go back to crunches for 30 seconds. Neck nice and relaxed, core tight, using my abs to lift up my upper body. Don't forget to breathe, 15 seconds here. Okay, right back to leg raises. 30 seconds, gloves underneath the butt, squeeze the core, toes pointed away from you. Nice and explosive on the way up and nice and controlled on the way down. This is what I mean by core killer. Cause you might be feeling a little burning right now, but that's part of the process. Boxing for wellness, it's about pushing yourself, not too hard, not to all out exhaustion. Okay, we're going back to a speed freestyle for one minute. Find that flow state here. Team speed for one minute here, anything you want. Practice slips, rolls. Get into that flow state. If you miss, it's okay, stay balanced. Really push yourself here. Fifteen seconds, let's go. Core killers. Where are my core killers at? Ha, ha, ha. Okay, we're ending with a one minute of a high plank. Let's go. <sighs> G 
channel it here. Channel your inner wellness warrior here. It's a relaxed strength. It's a calm, collected strength. It's a form of meditation. Last 30 seconds of work today. And time. That's it, you made it to this core killer workout. Team Speed, we showed up today. Give yourself a little pat on the back because it is not easy to train your boxing technique, your hand speed, and core all at the same time, but you made it through and you deserve a little mini flex for that. Great work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tune in next week for a fun little surprise and a change of format. Ish, 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 ish.